All right, so we're looking at this uh, Chevy Silverado 2500. This is the six liter uh, V8. I've been having, um, well, now I have a broken Milwaukee ratchet. Oh, maybe not. Um, some rough idling to where the uh, check engine light will flash. I have not had the codes read. I don't have a code reader but I suspected I had an air leak, uh, some kind of vacuum leak. So the guy I bought the truck from had um, an EGR delete kit or partial EGR delete kit on. That's the exhaust gas. Uh, I don't know what that stands for. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with emissions. I think, believe this is the regulator here. Um, it goes down to the exhaust manifold over there, uh, down there. That is sealed off. Um, and also the side where the hose connects to the intake manifold, the plastic, you can see this piece um, was put on to seal off that hole. So I saw a guy do a trick with a smoke machine to check for um, vacuum leaks the engine off he hooked up a smoke machine i believe this is a fuel pressure regulator hose that connects to the regulator on the fuel line um and then to the top of the intake with this little black air hose but i took a smoke machine and just put it in there and then plug the hole and look for smoke shouldn't come out anywhere also you need to seal off um, your intake your air filter box from your intake tube because all of that air would just flow uh, straight back out um, into the filter box and you would see it there and so you really wouldn't be most likely wouldn't be finding that leak very easy so sealed that off um, I don't have a smoke machine, so I had the idea <clears throat> to just use my air compressor just with a little nozzle, blow it in the, into there, and then hold my thumb over the end, listen, look for leaks. Um, also, had a big jug of uh, bubbles, leak bubbles. So I put it in a spray bottle and just sprayed several spots, places that I thought may be, be the issue. And I'll show you here the one spot I found the leak. So spray the bubbles, put the compressor on. Voila. Where you see bubbles, you know you gotta leak. So here's the back side of that cover. It just has an O-ring. So I'm gonna clean it up, reseal it, reinstall, and then check for more leaks.